Hello. Um, I thought I would do something different. Something that I just now thought of. Um, for those that know me, I tend to, uh, I tend to upload a lot of videos. But, um, one of the most, uh, one of the most annoying, for lack of a better word, parts of those videos is, uh, introducing my build and, uh, what I have on it and stuff. So, I just constantly repeating myself just gets annoying after a while. So what I thought I would go ahead and do is just um, make a video of my build and just attach this video to every other video I make. This would, it would cut out a lot of the process and when, you know, so I'm not, so I'm not spending more time, more time talking about my build than I am actually killing the boss. Sometimes I, a lot of times I kill the boss a lot faster than I would doing the uh, introductory part of it. So, so with that, uh, here we go. This is my, uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a Raider Ranger who specializes in Onslaught. And Frenzy Charges. This was actually a, a long time ago. It was actually Quartz Infusion. Uh, her thing was uh, phasing, but I wanted to try out the uh, Flicker Strike ability, but in order to really get the most use out of it, I had to switch over to here to get more Frenzy Charges. Um, so I went through a lot of orbs of regret in order to do this. In order to try to make all this work, which it really didn't, so I don't intend to change this. And besides, uh, for one, aesthetics. Um, when you're when you're con when you're phasing, you're just you're this blue you're this blue ghost, which didn't really care for much at all. So, and on top of that, if and then when I was to actually complete this branch. Her thing is uh, elemental damage, which I'm not an elemental person. My element is poison. So, I pretty much uh, shit can this branch here. I'm starting to go over here. If and whenever I complete the Eternal Labyrinth, this is going to be a lot more useful to me than that is. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a big elemental person. Um... The, the spell dodge is kind of nice, but considering the hell I'd have to go through to get that, not worth it. So, this is my future plan right here. And then I'll, I guess I can probably show you the rest of my tree. But her main element is poison. Probably just look at that. I think most everything here is pretty self-explanatory. I'm trying to get um, some of these nodes here. I'm trying to get my strength up. Main goal being to be able to get my strength to at least 200. That way so I can get an extra 20 to all resist. done that in spades. Cast is at minus 60, so take some big hits there. Let me uh, and let me show you the meat of my build. Her single target attack is Viper Strike. With faster attacks, vile toxins, and multi-strike. And these gloves are kind of worthy of note. They're supported by level 16 blind. And with a 5% global chance as well. Uh, this is a pure avoidance build. There's no armor on it. So, so blind is very, very integral to this build. And then her AOE attack also Viper Strike. 
with faster attacks, melee splash, and ancestors call. Um, in case one might be asking why am I using faster attacks and not multi-strike? Well, for one, faster attacks, mana multiplier is only 115%, whereas uh, multi-strike is 180. Mana cost is 12. They're both exactly the same. And as you'll find out later on, this build is uh, mana-wise uh, self-sustainable. Um, secondly, the gear I got is pure evasion. That means uh, it's uh, ideally all green sockets. So in order for me to make this work, I had, I had to blow 25 chromatic orbs just to get two red ones in here. Uh, so I'd probably be it probably 150 to 300,000 chromatic orbs just to get a third red socket in there. So totally not worth it. Uh, moving right along, my uh, movement slash teleport ability is charge dash with uh, faster attacks, blind, and fortify. Um. And in case one were to ask, why am I using Charged Dash and not Whirling Blades, for example? Well, for one, Whirling Blades can't cross gaps. And uh, the range on it is really short. So. And if I have a gem in here, because I'm pretty sure another question is going to come up. Why am I using uh, Charged Dash and not Leap Slam? Give you the answer. This is probably my one big complaint about this game. And I don't think there's anything they can do about it. But if I have my mouse pointer say way the hell over here, and I want to leap slam over there. I hate that. I, I cannot stand that. I, I would much rather her I watch I would much rather it work like the way it does in Diablo 3. Um, possibly Diablo 2 as well. If you have your mouse over here, you just simply leap over there as far as you can in the direction of that mouse. Not this. Because if I need to leap, if I need to move, I need to move now. Not after running down there first and then, and then jumping. By that time, I'm probably going to have taken a lot of damage if not dead. So, I mean, if not for that fact, then yeah, hell yeah, I'd be using Leap Slam, but. At least with, at least with Charge Dash, um, probably another reason I like it. Oh, hate it when it does that. You see that blue ghost? I mean, it's a nice, good, strong visual. It lets me know exactly where I'm going. It all, it's basically a cursor. So it lets me know exactly where I'm going to end up. So a lot of control there. Um, to be fair, I do have to pre-plan that. Um, a lot of times I have to use this preemptively. So that's... Yeah, if you want to call it a drawback, I don't. It just I have. It just alters my playstyle a little bit. Enough of that. Uh, moving along. I also use ancestral war chief with increased duration and poison support. Um, also, for the longest time. I was using decoy totem, but um, the problem with that is uh, it's not a very, it's not a very proactive, proactive playstyle. Um, a lot of times too, I end up spending a good chunk of my time keeping decoy totem up, just trying to keep all the monsters away from me. But this is a, 
But um, using Ancestral War Chief came around at about the same time. I discovered a uh, blind, which uh, lowers their chance to hit by 50%. So with that, with that and my 53% chance to evade, 40% chance to dodge, 30% spell dodge, 33% chance to block, there really was not much point in me having decoy totem in there. With all this avoidance I got, I mean, surely I, don't, I mean, I'm only going to take like a few hits here and there. I mean, to be fair, one of the, the few hits I take are going to be big, huge ones, but I mean, that that's hardly enough to warrant having decoy totem in there. It's not like the monsters are going to hit me 100% of the time. I mean, even the spells are, spells are only going to hit me, or only going to hit me 70% uh, of the time. So, so, out with decoy totem, in with ancestral war chief. It's proactive, does DPS, and uh, I also found out that level 18 now, but it deals 120% of base damage, which is basically weapon damage. And then I'll continue to move along. Uh, Blood Rage. This is another recent addition. This is uh, this is something I had during the time when I was trying to make Flicker Strike work. But uh, this is definitely a keeper right here. I love this ability. But the only drawback to it is uh, it doesn't last long. At its base, it's like I think it's like seven or eight seconds. Base, and more often than not, I forget to keep it up. I forget to cast it. So. Having increased duration is going to come in handy. I mean, yeah, it, it refreshes whenever you kill a monster. But part of that issue, too, is uh, not every monster I'm going to kill just like that either. You know, I'll be fighting like big bears and rares and champions and whatnot that could probably take at least seven, eight seconds to kill. So I need that increased duration on it. And then poison support. This is a poison build, so... Basically, Ancestral War Chief is used offensively. Charge Dash is used defensively. That's why I have Blind in there and not Poison. And continuing to move along, um, Summon Ice Golem. Uh, but, uh, like my de like my uh, like my decoy totem for the longest time, I had stone golem in there because I thought the life regen was important. But come to find, but after learning, this is a pure avoidance build. If I get hit, I'm gonna get hit for a lot, and the extra regen isn't gonna help much because I'm more likely just gonna be using one of my flasks than I am to rely on my regen to bring me back up. Who has a uh, elemental resist? A lot of what kills my—I mean, a lot of what kills my golems—is the uh, elemental damage, and it's more the elemental damage and less the physical stuff. And then who also has blind? Not a, not a massive DPS machine. So this one also has blind support. Um, and then uh, I have haste. Um, this is also a speed build. So, and again, for the longest time, I had Vitality in there. But when I first equipped it, I, I thought it was, uh, it regen, regen was based on a flat number, not a percentage of your max health, which, as you can tell by looking, isn't very much, and I'm pretty sure by most people's standards, it's uh, dangerously low for the content I'm doing. Um, low to mid-tier maps. Uh, so, I do... I do uh, deal with my fair share of one shots. So, hardly any point in having the extra regen in there. So, I just went with haste because I'm all. At least this build, this build is all about speed. And then I got a poacher's mark with blasphemy attached to it. That's a huge quality of life improvement. Um, same issue I had with. Uh, same issue I had with Blood Rage. I, I always forget, I'm almost always forgetting to cast it. The, the buff falls off and I'm not even aware of it. So I need, 
I need this to be automatic. Um, other, and there's probably a lot of other other options, but Poacher's Mark, I find it to be too personal, too valuable. Uh, life on hit, mana on hit. This is pretty much the only kind of self-healing I've got. Um, Blood Rage gives me some some life leech, but probably not a whole lot. Show you real quick. 0.91 from that. Yeah, 0.91. So plus adding in blood rage. 2.1. So nothing monstrously impressive or anything. And you get to watch my health dwindle. So that's about a third of my health gone over time right there. So again, plus I need I need those flash charges too. Especially considering that uh I no longer play Pathfinder, that I'm playing Raider. I mean Pathfinder had all kinds of uh flash charge game on hers. And uh I guess I can show you the rest of what I got. My uh, my equipment, Dragoon Sword, yeah, it's pretty much my ideal right there. Because uh, I can also cause some bleeding with this build now. In fact, eventually what I want to do is I want to start refunding points where I can. And then um, some of these other nodes, like... Uh, I'd probably take this out. And I'd probably take out possibly these two as well. And then put them in here. Actually just uh just two of them. And then put them in here. And it would be way the hell over here. Don't see it happening, but Crimson Dance would be another good one. But then the rest of these, like I said, it's all yellow gear. Um, that's a big one right there. Uh, block chance. Uh, extra 10% to block when I'm not cursed. Additional 20% to spell block uh, when not cursed. Or when I'm cursed, it's uh, 20 extra spell block, and then when not cursed, it's extra additional block chance. That's another one. More flash charges, too. The stun duration, this is not a stun build. So that's basically a waste of a mod right there. I'll go ahead and show the class and I'll call it done. That's what I got there. Um, where is it at? 70% to extra life, so because of that, I can get away with uh, instant recovery. So that's about 1,500 right there. That's probably about, probably about 2,000 right there. I could probably uh, change this to instant, probably change this to instant recovery if I wanted. If I wanted to go through the whole ton of mats, a lot of RNG. Then I got this. And for a while, I had um, the flask that gives you the dodge chance. I have that in here, but uh, the problem with that is I've been coming into situations where I've run out of, run out of uh, flash charges on my life. Plus, uh, 
even with it fully upgraded to 20%, I think it only lasts maybe maybe about two to three seconds, not very long at all, whereas that's almost five seconds right there. That's almost eight seconds right there. I mean, longer duration, so. Oh, but that'll, that's gonna do it. Um, like I said, I just wanted to, I just wanted to post this build video up, showing you, showing everybody what I got here, and this is just something I'm gonna paste on every other, every other boss video I do. Just, this way, when I'm at the boss, I can just pew, charge right on in and do it. Sometimes, maybe the battles will go short enough to where I can make Twitch clips out of them, and not just uh, YouTube videos. But otherwise, aside from that, well, thanks for watching. Take care.